Hello, my name is Chris Kiak, and I'm the Vice President of ConnectsCAD with ConnectsTag. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating and training you on the new Connects Project View application created by ConnectsTag. The Connects Project View application allows project participants to easily link and collaborate and communicate with 2D documents to a virtual 3D model. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing to look at here on the Connects Project View interface is the Projects tab. And by default, when you install Connects Project View, it installs two different projects here for you to look at. So that way you can kind of uh, just play with the interface and see what different types of files and sample models that you can work with and, and load into Connects Project View. Now, one thing here is that you can actually change the directory or browse to any local folder on your machine or any network server file folder system that you want. Um, and in this particular case, I'm actually um, using a folder on my Dropbox uh, folder system to automatically synchronize any drawings and files or comments between any of my devices, such as my desktop PC at the office or my laptop or my tablet PC for when I'm traveling. Um, or I can also use Dropbox when I'm, say, a project manager in the office and I'm trying to communicate and update a field superintendent with the latest files and the latest model. I can easily automatically synchronize those files and comments back and forth by using Dropbox. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually open up one of these particular projects. So I'm going to click on the Connects Modular Pipe Rack model and it's going to then open up the 3D model here and when we see this 3D model what we're looking at is essentially a Tecla Structures Web Viewer model and you can either load up the solid Web Viewer model which will display bolts um, or you can load up the XML Web Viewer model now let's say that the Connects project uh, folder specifically has the modeled XML type as well as the solid type what you can either do here is you can switch between the solid and the XML by just clicking this button at the lower left hand corner and now you'll notice that the XML model is loaded and so we don't see the bolts but then we have access to all the tool tips and then we can also take advantage of some of the links um, between the documents and drawings here and then the actual objects in the 3D model so I'm going to show you some of that next now just to enter uh, to kind of show you how the different views or interface in Connects Project View works. Um, if I go to the bottom uh, of the screen here, you can see that the default display mode is uh, showing the model panel only. Well, let's say that I want to look at a document view as well as the model panel. I can easily change that view by clicking these buttons here. And I can even look at a pure just drawing view only if I wanted to as well. So let's go back to the model only view. And then if I come over here to the upper left hand corner of my screen, I can see that I have a kind of like tree view or browser um, window. And this is essentially my documents browser window. So if I go into the different folders here, I can click on these different documents and it will display them in the document panel. So I can either look at, you know, shop drawings or erection drawings or instruction manuals or tutorials, um, any kind of PDF or image or um, even text file or whatever can be displayed here. If you do have a different file type that can't be displayed in the browser here, um, essentially what uh, Connects Project View will do is it will open up that file in the native application that supports that file extension on Windows. Now, Connects Project View is uh, designed so that way you can work either with a mouse-driven interface, like say on your la uh, your laptop or your desktop at your office, or if you have a touchscreen tablet, um, the icons are all designed to be large enough for you to work with a touchscreen type interface as well. So when we look at the toolbar here on the left of the model view, these are basically different navigation commands and controls um, that we can utilize here. Um, there's pan and then there's rotate, and so we can easily just pick a rotation point and rotate about that in the model. We can zoom in and we can zoom out and we can set the zoom factor here. And again, this was more geared for the touch interface um, because the old web viewer technology doesn't really support pinch zooming. Um, so I've just added a couple of quick, you know, easy zoom in and zoom out buttons if you don't have a mouse and you don't have something to scroll like you're seeing here that I'm doing with the mouse. You also have clipping plane functionalities. But some of the neat things that I've specifically added here to Connects Project View is that we see that we have the documents listed over here and what we're going to do is we're going to choose this option of select part in the model and when I click on a beam 
what it'll do is it'll actually show me the property specific to that beam. And I've really restricted the property specifically to things that a project manager or a field superintendent might be interested in looking at. Um, you know, things like the piece mark, the weight, the length, its grid location on the project, what sequence or phase it's in. So just not all the information, but really just the critical information that I'm commonly looking for. Now one other really neat thing here is I've selected this beam and I can press the view drawing button. So now I can automatically see the shop drawing or any part drawings or even erection drawings if I choose to link those here um, that are associated with this part in the model. And then again I can just go here, view the entire drawing or we can look specifically just at the model or both the drawing and the model at the same time. So we can get the specific properties, look at the model, and then we can look at the associated drawing. Now this document linking or drawing linking with the model only works in an XML web viewer. So if I switch to solid um, by selecting parts, it won't automatically allow me to open the drawing. It's kind of one of the limitations of the XML web viewer um, from Tecla. All right, so now that we've kind of reviewed uh, the document linking, let's also take it a step further and say that we scroll down here to the assembly drawings and if I click on any of these assembly drawings in the drawing list it's actually going to highlight those objects in the model and show me which pieces in their model are associated to that drawing. So you can either pick an object in the model and view the drawing or you can select a drawing in the drawing list and then it'll highlight all of those assemblies or piece marks that match or that are linked to that particular drawing. So really this is one of the primary key features that, that I tried to create here with Connects Project View. You know, trying to, to take the existing 2D world that most um, you know, project managers and, and shop superintendents or field superintendents are used to working in and integrating and giving them the ability to kind of see that 2D drawing and get the value and benefit of seeing that also in 3D at the same time. All right, so now we have you know the main aspects of Connects Project View explained. Let's talk about some of the saved views capabilities, as well as you know additional document linking. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Saved Views button at the uh, bottom of the Connects Project View screen. And what that'll allow me do, to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in like a comment or a description. So let's say that I'm zoomed into this particular location in the model. I have this particular drawing open and I want to store that uh, currently open drawing as well as this view location in the model. So I'm going to say my new comment. And then what I'll just say is uh, comment test. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and press the add button. And so when I add that, you'll see here that it appears uh, in this list. And so let's do another thing here where not only do I want to store a particular view, um, maybe I want to actually store um, a snapshot here. So let's say that I zoom in a little bit closer in a particular area of a drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, say create snapshot here. So if I say capture snapshot, it's going to open up this little mini dialog box here and we're going to say let's capture the document view and we'll call this um, new shot and we're going to actually add this into a folder called snapshots alright so I'm going to go ahead and say OK and what it'll do is it'll create a new kind of snapshot for me to work with as it in that snap snapshots folder I now have this view location in the model and I'm even going to take it one step further and I'm going to go ahead and say edit the snapshot so when I edit the snapshot here, what it does is it opens it up in Paint here on my machine. And then I can go ahead and add, uh, say, some red lines on this. All right, and then I'm going to close that, save and close it, and then it stores those red lines here. And now I can go ahead and say, my new comment with red lines, like so. And then I can just go ahead and add that to my list. And so what's really neat is if I go back to the original one, you can see that it opens up the drawing and zooms me to that particular view but if I want to go to this view and then see the particular red lines that I wanted to add with that snapshot I can easily do that here so what's really neat is that any of these comments and saved views that you sort of create here in the model 
they're not embedded or saved directly in the XML or the solid model file itself, the Tecla Structures Web Viewer. Um, essentially, they're just little files and folders that are put into the Connects Project View folder, and you can easily email those to other people, and they can copy it in their local copy of the project folder. Or if you're using Dropbox like I'm doing here, um, these files and comments will automatically sync back and forth. And these are much smaller than embedding or saving these with the whole model and sending that back and forth. So you can kind of have like a you know, daily or hourly or even fairly live um, collaboration on projects and things that are going on um, with any, you know, snapshots that you take in the model or, or comments that you make. Now, what's really neat is that I'm going to show you next how we can actually link files. So say I'm out in the field and I'm taking pictures out in the field. I may want to add or link those files. And then I can actually link any of those pictures to the objects in the model. And then that can automatically go back to the office. Alright, so I'm going to go up here to my uh, document browser and I'm going to right click, you know, I'll right, I'll select on a node, one of the folders, and I'm actually going to right click and say new folder. And a little mini dialog box will come up here and let's actually call this uh, photos. Okay, and then what will happen here is in alphabetical order, it'll show um, that new photos folder. And I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say attach files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pictures folder, I'll just go to sample files, and you can either select one, or you can select multiple files here, and then press open, and what it'll then do is it'll link all of those uh, JPEGs here, or those files essentially, to that particular folder. So let's say I took a bunch of pictures, or I got some new drawings or documents, and I wanted to link that here to my model folder. Now what's really neat is you can actually um, select on an object in the model and then you can select on a particular item here and you can actually say link to selected parts. So if I want to I say link to selected parts here and now when I click on this and I say uh, view drawing then essentially it will open up the drawing because that was linked to it and then it also opens up this picture. So if there's more than one document linked with a particular part in the model, it'll open up um, the default document first here in the document browser, and then it'll open up additional linked documents in a separate window. So that's the gist of essentially kind of linking additional documents and linking them to parts in the model. And one last thing that you can kind of do here is I can come in and I can select on a folder, then right click and say attach URL. So let's say that I have a website, and I'll say Connects Tech Site here. And you can browse on the web or anything, and you just copy the URL. So let, let's say that there's some sort of like online product guide um, you know, for a certain bolt type or a bought out item that you're working with, and you want to link that online document um, to objects in the model. You can copy that URL, add that link here, and just say OK. And then essentially what will happen is it'll automatically load that website um, when you click on that. And if, as long as you're online, it'll load up that online document. And then you now have that full website that you can work with here. And then you can also open up that document in you know, Internet Explorer or whatever browsing um, folder you set up by default um, by clicking the open button over here. So you can either view it in the document browser or open it up in its native application however you desire. All right, so that's the main functionality and features of the Connects Project View application. Um, I guess I'll finish off with this last small little uh, added feature that was created. And the idea behind this uh, was to allow you to automatically toggle or play um, a set of saved views. So if you're doing a presentation and you, know, you don't want people learning how to navigate through the model, you just want them to kind of come in, um, see the drawings and the documents, but have a tour of the particular information you're communicating, if you just press this play button, essentially what will happen is it's going to cycle through each one of those views, including opening up the documents, and it's going to cycle through that at the seconds number of seconds rate that you set down here um, next to the stop and the play button. So it'll just continue to cycle through those views until you're done, and you just press stop, and then it'll discontinue the cycle. And that's the last little neat feature that I wanted to show you guys. Um, hopefully you'll uh, take this into use and, and see some value and benefit of, of seeing the drawings and documents integrated with the 3D model. Um, we are looking for some early beta testers of the Connects Project View application. If you're interested in trying it out, um, please email us at 
connectsprojectview at connectstech.com. Again, that is connectsprojectview at connectstech.com. And just request access to the Connects Project View application. All right, thanks for your time.